my fellow griefers and trolls. Eric the Plague Doctor, 981YT here, and Bigos. Welcome back to more Elder Scrolls Online, my favorite multiplayer game of all time. So in the last one, we started uh, Western Skyrim and uh, assisted Lyris Titanborn as well as a member of House Ravenwatch, um, which is our uh, old friends from Rivenspire. So um, let's talk to Lyris and see what she has to say. And uh, we might quite possibly be going visiting the Queen again. So, uh, yeah, let's see what she has to say for us. Queen Gerhild needs to hear what we discovered at Kilcreath Temple. Hopefully that will be enough for her to get us an audience with High King Spargrim. Do we have enough evidence to convince the King and Queen of the danger? The Queen seemed reasonable. She'll believe us. As for Spargrim, who can tell? I haven't met the man, but everything I've heard describes him as prideful, arrogant, and hard-headed. Even with the Queen's help, there's no guarantee. So what do we do if High King Svagrim refuses to see us? I'd like to knock down the palace door, grab him by the throat, and shake him until he listens. That would probably start a war, though, and Joran specifically asked me to avoid that. For now, let's bring our evidence to Queen Gerhild. Let's go see the High Queen. Finish any other business you have in solitude, then meet me at the Blue Palace so we can report to Queen Gerhild. Why do you think the Ice Reach Coven wants to turn people into Harrow Fiends? Hey, you and Fenorian came to that conclusion, not me. Still, it makes as much sense as anything. As to why, I have no idea. This connection to vampires, though, that's troubling. We should keep Fen away until we get into Svargrim's good graces. I'm a vampire, too. Do you want me to stay away? No, I need you, and you've already been seen working with me. What I don't want to do is risk bringing an unknown factor into the equation, especially not an unknown vampire when vampires are clearly working with the Ice Reach Coven. Ven is going to seek help from a clever woman near Morthal. A clever woman? Out here? Nords are extremely distrustful of magic, especially Nords from Western Skyrim. I'm surprised the people of Morthal tolerate her presence. If anyone can help Fen figure out the Coven's ritual, though, it would be her. Should we help them with their research? Queen Gerhild needs to hear what we discovered at Kilcreath Temple. Hopefully that will be enough for her to get us an audience with High King Svargrim. Alright, to the Blue Palace. attendance. Let's get inside. Be strong, Svana. Mother! No! No! Svana, your father, the kingdom, watch over. Mother! No! Oh, you dear. Die. Mother! Sire! The assassins might return. You must get to somewhere safe. Have Joran's lackeys come to gloat? We came here to warn you, your highness. And yet my wife lies dead. If you had listened to us... Like she did. If I determine Joran had a hand in this, there will be war! Someone take care of my wife! Father, please. What a pompous ass. Gods, what's her? The Queen's been assassinated and Svargrim still refuses to reason. We need to find a way to set things right. How did an assassin get this close to the Queen? Question. The guards should have been able to handle a run-of-the-mill assassin. 
This could be connected to the Ice Reach Coven. In fact, I'd wager my axe that it is. So what do we do now? Also, Lyris, you might not want to wager your axe. This time you lost that thing, you kind of lost your courage and character, so... Yeah. Look around. See any indication of how the assassin got the palace so easily. Even turn up something that ties the murderer to the coven. I'll make sure the princess... I'll see what I can find. Savannah's taking this pretty hard. I suppose most daughters feel close to their mothers. Not that I'd know, I never knew my mother. Sorry, don't mind me. Did you find anything that might lead us to the assassin? I found this medallion nearby, beneath a broken window. We've seen these medallions before. On the Reachmen near Kilcreath. And I saw them on the witches in Ice Reach. The assassin definitely seems to be in league with the Coven. But can we get Svargrim to believe that and accept the danger he's in? The, the High King seemed pretty angry to me. Svargrim has every right to be angry. He watched his wife die right before his eyes. But he's the High King. He doesn't have the right to be stupid. Time to make Svargrim confront some hard truths. Come on, the sword thane led the king upstairs. Just saying, you're a politician, being stupid kind of comes with the job, but, um, anyway, lead the way. The High King is in mourning. He's not to be disturbed. The Queen's wasn't the only life lost today. Now get out of our way. I, uh, go right in. Your Highness, please. Your kingdom is in grave danger. My queen's blood hasn't yet cooled, and already Joran's lackeys hound me. We have proof that the Does Joran your think me so weak that he believes his half-giant can twist my arm and fill my head with lies? I am not so easily duped, outsider. It's not Yorin you need to be concerned with. It's the Ice Reach Coven. Reach witches? They pose no threat. We've beaten back those wild dogs time and time again, while our brothers to the east bow down to a poetry writing milk drinker. I will not be lectured on such matters by the likes of you. Have you heard about the Harrow Storm that struck? Kill Kreath, it turned your people into harrow fiends. Tales told around campfires to scare the children. Storms happen here all the time, and none of them spawn monsters. The last spy who spoke of such things. Well, he no longer speaks of such things. I am the Wolf of Solitude. I know my enemies. Okay, dude, you're a fucking idiot. Oh my god. Put your pride aside and... Oh god, this motherfucker. Queen Gerhild asked us to bring you proof. That might be why the coven killed her. You dishonor my wife's name by letting it pass through your treacherous lips? Away with you! And pray I don't find evidence that ties you to the Queen's murder. That would not go so well for you. We'll leave you to your grief, your highness. Oh, what an asshole. Is it true? Not a thing for her before she... I'm sorry, Svana. I would have saved her if I could. My mother. She told me she gave the mighty Lyris Titanborn an important task. Tell me. What were you doing for my mother? We were gathering evidence to convince the High King of the threat to your kingdom. Threat? What threat? And do you think this is why someone came into the palace and killed her? The Ice Reach Coven has come to Western Skyrim. 
It looks like they killed the queen. And did you tell my father all this? Is he rallying the soldiers? Alerting the other holds? The, the High King won't listen to us. He thinks this is all some plot of the Scald King. <sighs> my father sees Joran's plots everywhere, even in his spicy venison stew. Well, I won't let my mother's death be for nothing. She trusted you, and so will I. My father be damned. Please, find whoever did this and stop them. We'll do what we can, your highness. I saw the assassin. He moved fast. Unbelievably fast. He leaped through the window after stabbing my mother. By that time, the guards had gathered, so I guess he decided to flee. Try to follow his trail. Someone outside must have seen something. Could you talk to the High King about this threat? He might listen to you. My father? Listen to me? When horkers fly, maybe. But probably not even then. He gave up on me a long time ago. I'm sorry. I'm no use to you. No use to anyone. I heard that your mother told you she didn't believe that, and neither should you. I'm not my mother. Never will be. But I swear I'll do whatever I can to help you. You have my word on that. Are you going to be all right? No. My mother. The last time we spoke, I heard her at her. But I came when she summoned me. Just in time to see her murdered. I... I need to pull myself together. She asked me to watch over my father. The kingdom. I can't let her down. Come on, princess. Let's get you somewhere safe. Alright, alright. My wife. She is like ice. So cold. So pale. All the warmth sucked out of her. What happened to your wife? There was a commotion at the palace. Everyone was headed that way. Except one man. No, not a man. He wore an eye patch, but his face was bestial. He dragged her along like a bone between a dog's teeth. Then he tossed her aside, pale as snow. Where did this man go? He was fast. So fast. Ran to the Hall of the Dead. He never even looked back at what he had done. Yeah, motherfucker, I wear an eye patch. I don't see what's wrong with people who wear eye patches. Will you pray with me for these poor souls? Cut down and bound for the Hall of the Dead much too soon. Tell me what happened here. It was a monster. A vampire. I have seen such creatures before, but this one wore an eye patch. It moved like a shadow and took sustenance from these poor souls. I called upon Arke's grace, and the vampire fled before his sacred presence. Which way did the vampire flee? Toward the main gate. I pray the guard finished off the depraved creature before it took another innocent life. Okay, the fact that this vampire is wearing an eye patch, yeah, that doesn't make me look too terribly good, does it? You again? Didn't I warn you about putting your nose where it doesn't belong? A priest said a vampire came this way. Is that what happened here? A vampire? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. 
but whoever it was tore out Sonolia's throat and fled through the gate before I could stop him. What do you know about all this, and why is it any of your business? The vampire assassinated the queen. Princess Vanna asked me to track him down. The queen's dead? What about the High King? He'll have my head for letting the assassin slip away. Your head is probably the last of your worries, once the High King hears about this. You, you think... Could the High King really... But I'm a loyal subject! No more talk. I need to get Sonolia off the street. This is Spargrim's fault. He should have heeded us from the start. Damn Spargrim and his distrust of Yorin! How many more of his people have to die before he accepts the truth and lets us help him? Forget that for now. Tell me about the assassin. Did anyone get a good look at the murderer? The assassin killed more people as he fled out the city gate. A priest identified him as a vampire. That would explain the assassin's swiftness and ability to escape so easily. We knew the Ice Reach Coven had vampires on their side, but using them so blatantly. Anything else to report? Other than the assassin was a vampire who wore an eye patch and escaped? No. Well then, time to fight fire with fire. They've got evil vampires and we've got a friendly one. Let's find out exactly what your friend Fen knows about vampire clans in the area. Where did you tell me Fen was going again? Fen said he was going to see a clever woman near Morthal. Right. To research the ritual. Go find them and see what you can learn. I'll stay with Svana. Bring her up to speed on everything we've uncovered. We're going to need her to get the High King to trust us. And I'm calling him Fen. It's simpler. Fen it is. I'll find him and he can help us track down Queen Assassin. Oh, he's not, uh... Not in Morthal, he's just outside the city. It's nice. There's a hero storm active. Welcome to the middle of nowhere, my friend. You must be freezing. Warm yourself by the fire, and tell me how your audience with the High King went. Not well. The Ice Reach Coven assassinated the Queen. Now Sav Grimm distrusts us even more. A bold move, even for them. Old Njolin and I have been comparing notes, and we've made some progress studying the Harrowstorm ritual. What happened to your large friend with the axe, by the way? Lyris stayed behind to safeguard the princess. I need your help. The assassin is a vampire. We knew that vampires were working with the coven. And old Mjolin and I can say with certainty that the feral harrow fiends are byproducts of harrow storms. You think the assassin was one of the vampires in league with the coven? I know it was a vampire. He wore an eye patch and dropped his medallion when he fled. An eye patch? That's uncommon. And this insignia, I've seen it before. 
It's the same as the symbol that decorates the urns smuggled out of Bankarai. If it belongs to a vampire bloodline, I'm not familiar with it. I suggest you ask Mjolin. I had thought after our dealings with bone wolves and curses, you would find other ways to amuse yourself for a time. Yet here you are again, right in the midst of more problems. What can old Mjolin do for you this time? What can you tell me about this medallion? A grim talisman. It bears an enchantment of some kind, though the symbol upon it holds no significance that I'm aware of. I can help find the owner of this medallion. But I need some specific items to cast such a divination. What do you need? Bring me the bones of a wolf and a death bell plant pulled up by its roots. I need the plant alive. The wolf, not so much. With those reagents, I can conjure a divination that will lead you directly to the last person to wear this medallion. I'll gather the reagents and return soon. Death bell grows throughout the bog. You should have no trouble acquiring it. Wolves are plentiful in the wilderness around Morthol as well, but be cautious. Many seem afflicted by a strange curse. I would hate for you to run afoul of it. Okay, well that was remarkably easy. Welcome back. Warm yourself by the fire, and tell me about the reagents I requested. Here are the wolf bones and death bell you asked. For. Good, good. Divinations can be fickle. The longer we delay, the colder the trail grows. Let's see if we can catch the scent of your prey. All right. Mother wolf, hear me. We seek your blessing in our hunt. Lead us to our elusive quarry. Mother Wolf smiles upon you. She has seen fit to join your pack and aid you in your hunt. How will that help me find the vampire? Mother Wolf has the scent and will lead you to your quarry. I have enchanted the medallion with a divination spell inextricably linked to its owner. Hold it to your nose and breathe deeply. It will guide you along his trail. It will take me directly to him. Mother Wolf will guide you along the way, but you must still complete the hunt and find him. If the assassin eludes you, use the medallion to recover his trail. The wolf is relentless in her pursuit. The question is, will you be like the wolf? I'll find the queen's assassin. And look! The magic points to the west.
Okay, we're getting closer. Assassin great. Assassins hanging out in here somewhere. Yes, this is definitely the place in the vision. I'll slip past and scout ahead. with you next time. <sighs> Once again, I prove that I'm a scholar, not a warrior. I don't think he expected another vampire, though. I see you found the vampire assassin. I found the camp. Thought it was deserted, but the assassin must have been hiding in the shadows. He got the drop on me. At least he didn't hurt you too badly before he got it away. It had more to do with your arrival than anything I did. Luckily, he left behind his belongings when he departed. I saw a map and some documents over there. Why don't you take a look while I deal with this wound? I'll see what I can find. get a good look at that before. Mind bringing it over? Let me take a look at what you found. What? Of course, there are two letters and a map. The letters are both addressed to the vampire assassin. Hentak Korb. That's an unusual title. This one gives the order to assassinate the queen, where the language is guarded. The other talks about miners and a final ritual. Very ominous. 
So what do you make of the map? It looks like a map to a mine in Carthold. It could be the one mentioned in the letter. If that's the target of another Harrowstorm ritual, we need to stop it. Head south to the mine. I'll get word to Lyris and have her meet you there. Lyris is in solitude. I thought you tried to avoid large cities. My particular habits aside, one of us needs to find the assassin, and the other needs to alert Lyris Titanborn. I can handle the latter. Besides, I have no intention entering solitude. A courier should have no trouble picking Lyris out of a crowd. Chillwind depths. They aren't safe, Traveler. As evil lairs go, I'm not impressed. I'll take that as a good sign. We think this old mine is where our assassin fled to? Good a place as any to bury him. Did you inform... Sorry. Did Fen inform you of our findings? The clever woman helped you track the Queen's assassin to his hideout in Chillwind Depths. He got away, but left behind evidence that the Coven's planning another Harrow Storm in this mine, and we're going to wreck those plans. I miss anything? Since the assassin escaped, they're probably expecting us. Good. Less chance of them scurrying away if they think they have the advantage. I'm tired of chasing these rats through the shadows. Are you ready to end this? Let's go. These tunnels better be dug on the large size. Um, after this video, I might take a break and, uh, head to bed. <coughs> well, go back to bed, I mean, because I'm still a little tired. Scaffolding. Let's follow it down. Careful. The structure doesn't appear to be completely stable. Actually, I was more concerned for my own well-being, but if you insist. I think there's a cavern up ahead. We're in Blackreach. Like beneath East March. Does it extend all of Skyrim? Blackreach. So yes, the legends Laris. are true. It does. But why is there a town down here? Blackreach again. It must be vast to extend this far from East March. I can't believe people are 